again with the rundown of the past week you know what story is new what story is old what story is not being told i feel like if i miss a week here yeah, i might have to say the reason why but i shouldn't have to say the reason why car if you know you know it like sometimes i just got leg problems it's long so last week i was in bed like oh you know what you feel sorry for yourself as a man just, oh I said, bro, I can't take it. I can't take it. I can't. I I'm a human. It's not even like the man flu, because the man flu thing, I don't understand that still. As a big man, if you're fucked, you're fucked, ain't it? I'm not gonna be like, hey, babes, let me just suck the tear a little bit. You get me? Let me suck them titties, babe. Oh, oh, yeah. God, titties not gonna help when you're really, when you're really fucked up, you get me? Bruh. So yeah, last week I was like, yeah, I couldn't do an episode. Not much happened last week to be fair, so I don't have to really catch up on anything. But yeah, man, back this week, I felt like it's been a pretty much a decent week. I don't think much has really happened this week. There wasn't many topics for me to be like, okay, I definitely want to speak about that, or I definitely want to speak about that. It was just like, okay, it's a nice week. I think everybody was kind of saving themselves for carnival, and it was like, okay, okay. It's been what, three years? I'm more of a Leeds carnival. I don't really like London, to be fair. I feel like London carnival is a bit too much for me. All the dagger in and that, like, it's, it, it's a bit much for me, so I got a bad heart, you get me? Just leave me alone, girl. Leave me alone. Bro, nah, bro. It's just too much people, and it's not like I'm claustrophobic or anything like that. I just feel like yo, it's just too much, man. And it's like with with Leeds, it's in one park. You see all these beautiful black people, like not in El Carnival, like I don't know, man. It's just it's not it's not for me, and it's not for me. But shout out to everybody that went to not in El Carnival. Shout out to everybody that went to Leeds Carnival. Hope everybody had a good time. Hope everybody was safe. The one incident that that happened at the bus stop, the youths were just on the on the bus stop, whining the bread in the backpack. He was just giving the girl a slow wine, giving the girl a Tony Matter and Dotty wine, and he was like, "Raw." You just knew, like, when you clicked that video, and I'm just Bay or Shea or wherever you clicked it, you just knew some fucked up was about to happen. You knew, yeah, the black people was not gonna, somebody black wasn't gonna survive that. And he was like, "Fuck," you know. So when the bus stop collapsed. <laughs> Like for me, when I seen that, all I seen was the girl in the blue. Like when it, when it collapsed and it just hit the side of her face, I thought, raw, that's gonna feel like I turn a slap. Like, yeah, rolling, rolling down a river. I felt like, oh, yeah. I hope she's good. I don't know about anybody else. Everybody else felt like they was kind of all right, but the girl in the blue, I hope she's safe. Cut that there. She ain't going to work tomorrow. I tell you that for free. Yeah, shout out to everybody that went. I hope the man didn't behave. I hope there was no sort of sexual harassment, no charges pending, no cases pending. Cause there's certain about carnival that brings out the absolute predator in a lot of man. Let's be honest. Like you can just picture a lot of man just driving five man deep in a car, 120 all the way, magnum sipping, yeah, talking the things like, I am gonna do this, you know, I am gonna do this. I right, listen, when I get listen, I'm getting activated. Cause there's always that gas in it, but you just feel like for carnival, it's just it's a mad pump, you know. There's man like the gym man them that do the couple couple sets of weights before they go out and there. I feel like carnival just got man pumped. You just I on my way to carny like I on my way to carny like I on my way to carny grind on a thing with flat panani like I. I feel like. But yeah, I just feel like sometimes man them do a bit too much. But the wickedest thing for carnival for me, I feel like the gallon. Oh, like, let's be honest. Let's let's call.
call a spade a spade. I just feel like, like if a woman likes a man, I can understand. Like it's dancing in it. Like the way we dance with black music, it's it's loving. It's like it's passionate. It's sexual. Like it's got all those herbs and spices. You get me? But I feel like the daggering and that of a, of somebody that's just walking past, just picking you up, bending you over. I I, I don't know. Maybe because I'm too. Maybe I'm. It's not even. Because, I can't even say it's because I'm older. Because I've always thought like daggering for somebody you don't know. Like if it's your boyfriend and that, or your partner or whatever. Like cool. Even if it's just a link that like, you just fucking like a like a side man thing. Like my man's a relish on the side of the plate. I understand if it's a garlic bread, but you see just the random and just daggering girl. I don't know. <laughs> like that, that there just never sat well with man. Still, I just nah. You're a hoe. Carnival's not that deep. It's just. It's fine, have fun, do have what you fun. gotta do. Are you dashing out wines today? Yes, I have been. Hey, why is he dashed out? Okay, just one, because we've just come, but yeah, like, just just more to come. Time. Like, I'm, I'm sorry, like, we only in it. Like, if that's, if that's your flavor, tell me what's your flavor. I just feel like that's your thing, innit? But yeah, man, shout out to everybody that went carnival. Hope you had a good time. Obviously, I couldn't go off. I feel like I've missed more carnivals because of my, my legs been fucked more than the ones I've been to. And I've been to a few Leeds carnival. I think I've only been to London carnival once, you know? And you know what? One of the funniest things is here yeah, about London carnival. Like, the one time I've been there. And it's mad because I found uh, the SD card of when we went to London. It's mad because because this was what? This has got to be about 15 years ago. And I'm like, rah. So obviously you can't see myself because I'm, I'm, I've got a video camera at the time and it's mad because I've always wanted to, to record shit, but I never did. But yeah, and I remember I was looking at it, but it's long, it's like, it's got to be about an hour long and I can't watch all of that. I might, in fact, I might just put some um, snippets in this video to be fair, because it's like rah, like even the dress sense is mad than that. Bruh. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> The man them in London addressing you. Yeah. Yeah. Tell me what's wrong with I the man them in London. That, man. The funniest moment of that day of going to London Carnival way back, my brethren got rubbed. But he got rubbed so quick. <laughs> he got rubbed so quick. Nobody even knew. Bruh. <laughs> she got real. She got real. <laughs> Time out, time out, time out. My mom's life on my eyesight. I swear down on my eyesight. He got her up so quick. Yo, it didn't even, you wouldn't even have known. Like imagine you with your bridge and say like there's four, five, six of you. You just go in there. I don't even know if the man them that went there with me all them years ago can remember this. Now, like because the London Carnival was so big, there's so much people. You, you're not always gonna be together together. So you're gonna be a little bit spaced out. Like my man might be looking over there for things. A man might be just looking at the scenery for things. Obviously I was filming. So you gotta think man them were doing different stuff. And as I said, this was like 15 years ago. So. <laughs> <laughs> all I remember is, I don't know who it was, I don't know if it was me, I don't know if it was one of the other men then. In my mind, all I remember is somebody saying, yo fam, where's your chain? Cause a man had a big fuck off voucher chain, and the man's just like, oh, man tried to downplay the thing like nothing happened. <laughs> this is a sick Negro. And you know what? I shouldn't laugh here because like, it, <laughs> But because it's 15 years later, and, it, and it's mad that I've only thought of this again now, and I've been bridging with a man for years. Like, we're not speaking no more now, but I was bridging for a man for years, and I never thought about it. Like, it's never come up until now that I've made this video. Thinking, <laughs> yo! <laughs> and it, listen, so imagine, yeah, a man's gone to a man. Yo, fam, where's your chain in that? A man's just tried to downplay the thing. He's trying to make it out like, oh, I don't know, like I think I lost it or something. And eventually a man said, a man's bopped his top. <laughs> and I'm laughing now because it's like raw. Like, because back then, man was like, what? what? What do you mean someone just popped? What are you mad? Like, don't take the piss. And obviously, my man's not telling man who's done it because man on life. That man can't just take man's chain. Like, are you dumb? Like, listen, man had the attitude. Like, when you're younger, any and you're black, doesn't matter if you're from out of town. Like, something happened to you, bridge, and you're gonna wild out. I don't care. I'm wilding out. I don't care. You're not thinking. I'm in London. There's probably like 30 men here. Obviously, they've got more men. But because you're young, naive, you think, what? Yo, fuck that. And I'm, a, I'm a one of them ones. That's all I can remember. But now I think about it, I feel like, bro, my man was like, fuck that. I'm not on none of that smoke. A man took it. He's got it. I'm cool. I've still got my life. <laughs> oh, oh shit, I'm 
no, I'm getting hot now. No, I'm getting hot now. I'm just getting hot thinking about it because you have to be. You know, like as parents, you want your child to be smart in it, but your parents have to, they've had to engrave a lot of hard work and discipline into you to be like, you know what? I've just been robbed. I want no trouble. Take it. Bruh. And you with your man them. And all, it's not like a, oh, 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 yeah, yeah. <laughs> me that remember oh i'm getting hot fuck off fuck off pigs oh my god because inside i'm just laughing and i'm trying to be professional here oh but yeah you've you've got to be um you've got to be a strong black man to get robbed and and not say anything like he was willing to take that to the grave like are you yeah he was <laughs> oh god Woo. yeah now nah, fuck off man i'm getting hot man now i'm getting hot see there you go there you go that's how you do it, bro. No, fuck that. No, no, no. That's how we do it in Brom, you get me? Slum town, Brom town. We don't give a fuck. Oh, right now we're on Makesbury Road. Hello, darling. Yeah. Ugly, ugly yeah. bitch. Yeah. Trust me. <laughs> don't understand. Man, them accents. Say, well, go on, blood. Well, 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 you get me? Beeham over here. Man. Yeah, you chilling. get me. We're chilling. We're here to run over. Oh, where we at? Barnet. Barnet. Okay. Step back. Step back. Holla, nigga. Holla. <laughs> <laughs> We got WG Woody Grill, I think that's a fake Nando's. That's the whole fucking cow that is, bro. See this, people. This nigga here, Biggie, came here and fucked up the traffic of London. Look at this. Look at this to my left, and now look at to my right. Done See done what done I mean? Done Fuck it, black. Birmingham TV. But Birmingham TV, I think we got bad news. They're telling us this shit might be over. And this brother here is starting traffic. We know we don't even know where we are, you know. Some people might come up strapped. What are we gonna do? Uh, he's stolen. He's stolen the car. <laughs> London. We got Iron. I got like a car from warehouse. Yeah. We got one of those in Birmingham. Final destination 3D. I done seen it already. On the bus. Anything pops up because of the road. On the right. Because of this shit, you better have my back, blood. <laughs> I'm telling you. Fake. Our people, they just knocked up. That's another one. With the jack ups. <laughs> 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 On the feet, yeah. Fuck <laughs> 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 it. Like, oh, look at that, she's coming. Look at that. I know you can see her. Damn, she's sexy, man. One thing I did see on social media that, that did make me laugh also was Big Tobes, the rapper, saying, yeah, so he was linking a big girl, right? And <laughs> he expected her to cook him some food, but that wasn't the case. She raw went on cooking him food, so he's on the thing like, yo, like, how can you be big and, 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 and not cook man food? And she told him, like, I'm a big girl, I can eat. Never said nothing about man. Like, I can cook in that. And I've seen it here, and when I've seen it here, my stomach was rolling. Because when I've seen that, I was like, at a young age, when I started liking big girls, I assumed the same thing. I assumed that every big girl could cook, and it's raw not the case. And I feel like for skinny men, that must be heartbreaking because skinny men have disrespectful views on big women. They do, like they may not say, but I've been in the barbershop for many, many, many of years and heard the conversation, heard the stories. And I, I, I could never repeat them because there, there's a man called. All I just need to say to big girls is big girls, do better. Get your confidence up, because getting your confidence up will know which man to attract and what man not to attract. Plus, most big girls have probably been through bare slim man, so you, you kinda know. I seen that and I was like, rah, that's a shame. Like, any woman that don't cook for a man that they're linking, that they're dating, that they're fucking, that they're going out with, I would hope if you're going out with somebody in a relationship, terms and conditions would be a little bit more different. But I felt like, yeah, that, that there was a good thing to address, and I felt like, rah. And I felt like a lot of women just don't seem to be cooking for their man recently. And I don't know what it is. I can't remember the last time a woman cooked for man. Yeah, I, I, I'm like when I think about it logically, realistically, 
I can't picture this date of what year I'm talking and I feel like this is becoming a common thing now and I feel like the conversation that I have with women is it's not because men want to go to your yard or you come here and, and all you're doing is cooking for men like it ain't that because if I want to cook for you I got no I got no problems cooking a dinner for a woman I got no problems cooking a breakfast but you can't be here say like for the evening or the morning and I personally don't cook for you boom just throw a sachet of cornmeal porridge and hot water to Ross Claw. like I don't care like you have to have certain you can't be my presence and just be here hungry baby i don't care if man have to go to greg's and get your fucking steak bacon and donut like you're not leaving the yard oh well you can leave the yard i gotta go greg's but you're not leaving my presence knowing that you ain't cooked whether it's dinner or breakfast like a lot of women will be like nah like you're not my man and that so wait there man's gotta wait for him to be your man to get a food a sandwich what so like ladies, I'm not saying that's how you secure the bag with a man, but that's how you kind of secure a bag with a man. There's, there's, there's a few things, I'm not gonna tell you each and every one, maybe different episodes I can tell you each little gem, but that's one thing. Cook for the man that you're fucking with, you get me? Because it's not like you're cooking for him personally. I'm not saying do that. I'm saying you've cooked a big meal and it's, there's, there's leftovers. You can phone my man and say, yo, I've got food here. Have you eaten? Like that there is a godsend in itself. I've got food here. Have you eaten? Like whether he says yes, whether he says no, just to know that a woman's thinking of you. Because the same way you want man them to think about you, the same way man them would want a woman to think about us sometimes. It's like, raw. You're like, don't get me wrong. Some of you has got amazing pussy. You've got amazing Ponani Peshwari. Mwah. There's got to be more to it than that. So yeah, that was one of the things I seen and any raw made me laugh this week because I felt like that is a topic in itself. Maybe one day I get into a conversation with women and ask them, when was the last time you cooked for a man? But any women that watches this, when was the last time you cooked for a man that you was fucking with? Don't worry. Oh wait. So yeah, I swear to God I'm still hot because my insides are still fucking laughing about the London thing. But yeah, what have I been watching? So I've been watching something called The Capture. So as I was on BBC iPlayer and I was looking to watch the rap game, because I watched that as well. That's decent. If you if you like hip hop music or drill or any urban black music, definitely give the rap game um, a watch. But I was watching The Capture. Now the first season probably came out a good couple of years ago, I'd say. Basically, if you've ever seen Enemy of the State, it's about where they've got they've got a way of manipulating footage and it's like, raw. that's all I can tell you. They've got a way of manipulating footage to the point where say like, something happens to a thing that you was linking. You went on a date with a girl, something happened to the girl, like she got murdered or something. They can make it seem like you murdered the thing. Just, just basically the scene CGI up the thing and I'm like raw like but it weren't that much episodes but yo I was like this is hard this is hard so yeah the capture definitely watch that only two episodes have come out so far but yeah this this season number two looked like it's on smoke the same way season number one was but even more so one thing that I can't start to watch same as like you know last week when I said I can't wait to watch Raining, Raising Canaan but I gotta let a few episodes get in there I can't wait to start watching like Game of Thrones House of the Dragon yeah I've been on YouTube just YouTubing up the thing, thing, looking at the Targaryens and their family tree, because that's who it's based on. If you don't watch Game of Thrones, you don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. You can skip this part a little bit. Um, but yeah, it's based on the Targaryen family, going back, going back, going back to the original Targaryen was Aegon, innit? I'm sure he was the first person took over the, the Six Kingdoms and that. And it's like, the reason why I love when Game of Thrones is on, because I get into like my geek shit, and like, I'm not into sci-fi and all that. I feel like it's some, oh, it's some dickhead business, like the, the Lord of the Rings and that. Like, I'm not into to none of that shit. I like, I like, I like violence in the programs that I watch. You get me? A little bit of drugs and that bare sex and that murder. You get me? I'm into all of that. Give me all of that. I'm watching it. I'm watching it. So Game of Thrones gets me into something that I've never been like a geek and that. And when I'm watching it, it's like raw. So I'm watching like I'm just trying to watch the video so I can get to the point of understanding who the people are in this new Game of Thrones because it's set 200 years before the Game of Thrones that we know in it. So so you're gonna have to do a little bit of research so things kind of tie into place and that. And one of the funniest things about watching Game of Thrones, like, like, same like everything else, everybody's got like their terminology of what they call things for, like the way they abbreviate stuff and that. Like they keep calling it Hot D because it's called House of the Dragon. Yo, Brett, you know, I'm like, there's no pause here. Bruh. And every time I hear, yeah, yeah, so so when, you, when you're getting Hot D, whoa, wait a minute, wait a goddamn minute, player. You gotta, you gotta pause that. You gotta put a no homo on that. You can't just be saying Hot D this and Hot D that. It's like, fuck you. 
you know what it looks like yeah it's gonna be a mad thing for all the things that i've been watching i feel like i'm up to date i think i'm gonna wait till like about three four weeks so when there's about episode five episode six i feel like get i'm gonna start watching it because yo it gets me gas game of thrones like game of thrones is my number one in it i just feel like it's top tier so what am i listening to i'm listening to dj khaled's new album god did listen yeah i'm telling you now that song there alone god did dj khaled rick ross little wayne jay-z yeah the tune slaps the beat on it alone it slaps the chorus the vocals on it do i feel like jay-z's verse was as hard as everybody says no and jay-z's my favorite rapper i feel like yo i don't want to hear nobody rapping for three minutes that's a long time that's a long time especially when you're a billionaire because all i can hear is that money talk that all you can hear is you know that the, the machine that's all you can hear. That's all you can hear in the verses still. But yeah, I feel like the tune's hard, but there still could have been more because man should know like, yo, this tune's going everywhere. So I feel like the tune's hard in that, but I don't feel like the verses was all that, like from Rick Ross, Lil Wayne, or Jay-Z. And I just think Jay-Z's verse was way too long, but you gotta big him up for mentioning Giggs. I feel like Giggs has come a long way. Pause, no homo. I feel like where he was from, I know Giggs from 2006, talking the hardest, till now, 2022. So yeah, I feel like Giggs has done so much. I feel like he deserves it now. I feel like he's getting his just dues now. He's getting the respect from a lot of people in America, from the Jay-Z's to the Mint Mills. I'd like to see him on a DJ Khaled album next year or the year after or whenever Khaled makes his next album. I feel like that'll be a good look. I feel like if you can get a few more collaborations. Yeah, man. Let me play that back still. I see a lot of holding gigs. I no 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 no. I see a lot of hope and get to listen, Robin. Ah, listen, man. it's fucking mad in it, man. Like, I'm about to call her still. You know them ones. A hey, buck. Her. So definitely want to give a big shout out to the Holler Man. Keep doing your thing, bro. So yeah, on that note, that's me done for the week. Hopefully I'll be back next week. I'd like to say I will be, but fuck knows, man. So yeah, man, thanks for watching. Make sure you like, share, subscribe to the channel, and I'll be back next week. Have a good week. Stay safe. Bye.